It's your girl T here back with the Tea Time Tuesday vid, yeah? I know y'all are having a beautiful blessed day because we're tea timers. It's absolutely what we do. Our affirmation of the day is, I have all my desires now. We have our desires now because we're tea timers and we said so. I did a coaching call this morning and y'all, I don't know if other coaches say this, but I'm going to be straight with you. When we do coaching calls, it actually helps the coach as well because it brings up points that us as coaches might take for granted or we might have forgotten that people are having issues with and it reminds us that this could help the general public because when you have been consciously manifesting for a while just like anything else playing basketball etc sometimes you forget that not everybody knows the basics not everybody knows things that you already are very familiar with so that's what led me into this video today and thank you for being patient with me last week i went to toronto i i'm in canada so for those of you who don't know we have provinces sometimes in the states they don't realize that we have different provinces just like y'all have states I live in British Columbia and I went to Toronto, which is a different province, to see my family there. And it was a beautiful celebration. We had family come out from Miami, Detroit, etc. It was wonderful. So I wasn't able to post as much last week and I'm back. I'm back. So that's what led me into this video today is to tell y'all if you do a simple perspective shift on certain situations, it could completely change your world. I will use the example from today. Obviously, I'm not giving names and numbers on who I was speaking to, but I'm going to use the what I was talking to her about today to remind you all how much a perspective can shift. So if you're manifesting an SP, for example, and you're really um, upset by the third party and you're envisioning how beautiful the third party and your SP's life is together and how they're spending all their time together and how could you be involved with them because you know, they already have this history together and they're obviously loved up with them, change your perspective. Think of your third party as your hype person. Your SP is constantly talking about you. They're constantly um, saying things to the third party about you and the third party is getting sick of hearing your name. The third party is telling your SP, you're so obsessed with them, go be with them. Why are you always, why are you staying with me when you're clearly in love with tea time? Go talk to Tea Time. Go make it work with Tea Time. I'm already interested in somebody else that's invested in me. You're not invested in me. You're obsessed with, with Tea Time. So go be with Tea Time. This is how much of a little shift in the way that we're looking at things can change your whole world. If you're looking in your bank account and it's physically empty, every time you check your bank account, I'm so happy they deposited that $11,000 into my bank account. I'm so happy they deposited my million. I was waiting on this. It's like when you are physically waiting to to receive a check from a third party, like a job or somebody owes you something, the government owes you tax, back taxes, etc. You don't physically have the check before you're spending the money. You might have to wait three to four business days, but you're already deciding what you're gonna buy with it. I'm gonna pay off this bill, I'm gonna put a down payment on this house, I'm gonna put a down payment on this car, etc. You can do the same thing with your manifestation money. You can start spending it before the check even arrives in your bank account. I'm gonna buy this, I'm buying that, I'm buying this, I'm paying off this. Write it in your journal every day as if you already have the money because we're doing the same thing when we know for certain a check is coming from a specific specific source, we should know specifically that we can manifest money like that. So we're spending it before it arrives because we're making room in our lives for that money to arrive. It's the same thing with anything. When you are manifesting a job, for example, how are you going to show up to that job? What is your boss going to look like for you? Are they going to be um, a really kind boss where they don't care if you're a few minutes late here and there or they praise you every day for the things that you do in the job that you love so much and you you are very abundant in that job you make a lot of money there because it's effortless for you how does it look start imagining you already have the job what it's gonna look like for you do you wake up at 7 in the morning to get ready for your day and then you're off to your job same thing with any kind of job if you're starting a YouTube channel start practicing making your videos or just post videos like I did when I first started a YouTube channel I was posting all sorts of craziness on my channel I was like oh well people are gonna feel it or they're not gonna feel it but you have to start doing the actions mentally that you will do physically start planning your start writing in your journal what your videos are going to be like are you doing a sequence of videos are you having a certain series that you're doing what does that look like what are you talking about 
anything in life can be pre-planned. We don't need physical evidence before we can start planning for the things that we have decided are already ours. If you're manifesting a new car, what does the car look like? Is the interior leather or is it cloth? How many kilometers does it have on it? Or are you buying it straight out of the showroom and driving it away smelling like a fresh new car? Drive, drive, driving in your hoopty right now, who's to say you can't imagine it as the brand new car that you're manifesting and what does it smell like and how does it feel to drive it and are you blasting music as you're passing by people because you have your new whip? What does it look like? Start utilizing your imagination instead of spending all your time focused on why those things can't come to you, focus on why they can. Universe, show me how easy it is for me to manifest a car. Universe, show me how much my SP is thinking about me. Universe, show me some signs as to why this is happening. If you need proof, for me, I just jump right in. I'm like, why was it so easy to get this money? Why was it so easy to get this car? Why is my job so obsessed with me? Why do they need me to work for them? Why is my YouTube channel always blowing up, etc., etc. I'm just using random examples. But shifting your perception to believe that everything is working out in your favor no matter what it looks like is going to change the game for you. If you take every negative thing that pops up in your day and look at it and say, it doesn't matter, it looks like that, it's always working out for me so I don't have to worry about how that looks, it is going to be a game changer for you because we don't, we don't appreciate how many times a day we think negatively about something based on our belief system. Like, oh, that person's looking at me crazy. They're thinking da, 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 da. Honestly, we think negative things so many times throughout our day and not even realize it. Like when I was on the call, she said a few things that she didn't even track were coming up as negative. It's because it's very common for us to have negative beliefs that we're muttering under our breath or thinking in the back of our mind without even realizing it. And sometimes it takes a coach or somebody close to you to point out, hey, that's not the best thought to be thinking, hey, that's not serving you, etc. But if you don't have somebody like that in your life at the moment, you take stock and take inventory of your own game. Every time a negative thought pops up, everything's always working out for me. No matter what things look like, my desires are done. I always get what I want. Universe, show me show me my uh, limited beliefs. Universe, show me thoughts that aren't serving me. Universe, show me when I have a negative thought. Whatever way you want to cut the cake, figure out how to make your brain know that no matter what it looks like, things are always working out for you, best case scenario. If you can shift your perspective to focus on the things that you want and how you're enjoying them and how things are always working out for you and how your desires are already done for you and how you have everything that you want right now, the more you condition yourself to really believe that, the more you condition yourself to believe that life is easy and things just go your way, the more that you can look at a negative circumstance and remove yourself from feeling that that's going to affect your day and knowing that things are always working out for you and you have an un you have an unmovable unshakable belief in yourself and the perfection of your reality um independent of what's going on in your 3d reality is the easier it's going to be for you to manifest your desires because when you can solidly stay internal and not let the 3d world affect you your manifestations are going to come like that. They're going to be fire. They're going to just pop, 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 pop. You're going to be surprised if it takes you longer than a couple days to get what you want because you create your reality in your mind and the world has to form around what you do. Anyways, you know I don't like a long video and y'all know that I love you, but not as much as you should be loving yourselves. Have a beautiful, blessed Tuesday. Bye!